Hey everyone, it's Nick with Us vs. Her. Today we're going to go through getting around the pattern day trader rule. And what I found was a lot of misinformation regarding the pattern day trader rule. And a lot of people were not, you know, really sure what was qualified as a pattern day trader, what was not qualified as a pattern day trader. So we're going to go through it. I got a lot of questions. What kind of sparked this video is I started the 1K account challenge this month. And you know, people are like, "How can you day trade without with less than a thousand dollars? How can you do this? I, I thought that. I thought this." So we're gonna we're gonna clear the air. We're gonna clear the air on everything right now. But if you find some value in this video, if you find some value in this video, hit the like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know that it helped you at all. Just let me know. I love to connect with you. And if you want to join our community, links are below for our Discord and our options trading group on Facebook. So. As you can see here, this is my Tasty Works account, and as you can see here, my day trade, my day trade per five days, my day trade counter is at 11. So, at 11 day trades, I do have in buying power less than a uh, less than $25,000 in here. I'm currently at a balance of almost $1,200, and as you can see today, I did all these trades right in here. Now. I am in a cash account. So you can bypass the pattern day trader rule if you are in a cash account. And this is, I'm gonna be using Tastyworks for an example, but you could do TD Ameritrade, Schwab, um, a bunch of other brokers, E-Trade. Robinhood will convert, right? You know, Robinhood will convert your margin account into a cash account, but, but they, they uh, can't change it back. So, so don't use Robinhood if you want to use a use a cash account. If you want to sign up with the Tastyworks, I have a link below for a referral. You can you can hit that link. It's in the description as well. But on Tastyworks, a cash account is a cash account does not have margin benefits. That means you must be able to cover your trades full purchase price with the money already in your account. So what does that mean? Right? Let's go back to Tastyworks here. So every day, if I'm trading options. I could only trade what's in my account. So right now, I have twelve, almost twelve hundred dollars in this account. That's the amount of money that I can trade. Now I could do, let's say, ten trades that equal a hundred dollars per trade. That would be a thousand dollars. So if I if I did ten trades each worth each worth a hundred dollars, that would be equal to a thousand dollars. And what's a day trade, right? A day trade is if you open a position and then close the position that same day. So if I open and close 10 positions, each, each worth a thousand dollars each, then I'd be okay. Where things get a little dicey is if you start going beyond the amount of money that you have. And this is, this is where you start breaking some rules, which we're going to get into here. So let's say, let's say for, for instance, let's go to Facebook, right? And let's say I bought these calls right here. Let's say I bought one of these calls for, let's call it 600 bucks, $6, 600 bucks. So I bought one of these 375 in the money calls. I bought it, I sold it, had more money, and then I'm up, I'm up even more money and my balance, is, my balance is bigger. However, it only goes off the amount that you start with. So tomorrow when we open up, I'm only gonna have this $1,200. So that's where it starts off. It's not if you like, okay, I made a five hundred dollar profit, so I have more to more to day trade with. You know, it it has to. It's only a based on the amount of money that you had at the start of the day. And at the start of the day, I only have I'm gonna only have twelve hundred dollars on here. So I would be okay. But let's say I made money on this, and then my account value goes to fifteen hundred dollars. I don't have that extra three hundred dollars in buying power to buy another contract if I don't want to. Now, if I bought one of these and I closed it and then I bought another one of these, let's call it, let's say for even more money, 800, let's say I went, I went in eight or 700. So if I bought one for 600, then bought one for 700, that would be $1,300. That's more than I have. And you would then be hit with what they call is a good faith violation. Now there's not like too much to be concerned about a good faith violation. You might hit them. Sometimes people don't do the math right. Sometimes they're riding a little bit too close to the sun. And sometimes people just break the rule anyways. Maybe it's like a you know crazy, crazy day. You want to take advantage of some of the moves. I mean, so a good faith violation occurs when a cash account buys a stock or option with unsettled funds. So like I said, you can only use the amount of money that you had at the start of the day. If you buy and sell throughout the day, you're going to have unsettled funds, which means 
you know, you don't actually have that cash. That cash hasn't settled into your account. Kind of think about it as like a bank transfer. If someone transfers your money through a bank, it may say like pending or processing, but the funds haven't actually settled to be released into your account. Same thing goes for options. If you buy and sell something, those funds are, are, are in transit and you don't actually have those funds in your account. It may look like you do, but you in the back end, like on Tastyworks or TD Ameritrade or wherever, wherever you're trading, it's not actually there. So stocks and ETS settled trade, settled trade date plus two day business days or more commonly known as T plus two and options settle the next business day T plus one. So what does this mean? So if you buy, let's say you buy and sell stock with a cash account, you would then have to wait two days for it to settle. So if I made the trade today, tomorrow I wouldn't be able to trade, but I would be able to trade the following day. Now for options, if I made the trade today, that cash would actually settle tomorrow. So that next day. So whatever I do in this cash account, will be available tomorrow if I'm trading options. If you're trading stocks, you gotta wait an additional day for it to get through, but I'm mostly trading options. Now, if you get a, they call it GFE, good faith violation. A cash account can only trade with a set of funds. Good faith violation cannot be met. Once you receive your fifth good faith violation in a 12 month period, it will result in a 90 day restriction to closing only on the account. So Tastyworks gives you five good faith violations within 12 months. If, if you can't figure it out within 12 months, they give you five chances. Let's say you open and close, open and close, open and close, and you're just abusing the system. Then you're restricted for nine, 90 days on a good faith violation. So it's easy not to get a good faith violation. Like with a cash account, you can day trade. Everything's okay. Now, in a cash account, the issue is you can't do margin, so you can't do spreads. You're limited to buying and selling naked options on a cash account. You can only you can't do spreads. You can only do naked options. And you know this is kind of the issue with a lot of things. You know the system that's in place right now. Obviously, when you buy or sell naked options, it's the riskiest option that you could you could potentially have, right? Uh, spreads. Iron condors, that kind of thing, <coughs> off the table. Excuse me, off the table. You're able. You're you're not able to do them at all. You can't. You can't short an option. You can't short. You know. You can't. You can't do any of that stuff. However, um, you know, this is where things get a little dicey. Is they're like, why, why? Why is it that way? The system is designed to keep the small guy out, right? The s system is designed to keep the small guy out. They don't want the small guys like me or you getting into the market and you know they think we can't be responsible with the market so they're like hey we're gonna shut them out we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have so many walls ahead like oh you could you can day trade but only naked options or you could just buy and sell some stock oh it's gotta sell the next day it, it didn't used to be like this it didn't used to be like this we didn't used to have so many hoops we had to jump through but this is this is the way it is right now this is how it is in the united states legally so if you have under twenty five thousand, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to have a cash account and if you want to do spreads you want to day trade spreads and short options that kind of thing iron condors then you're gonna have to have a margin account with above twenty five thousand to actually day trade that but for right now for a lot of people like if you're if you're just kind of scalping you know you, you got a small account you know kind of going back to tastyworks like today I'm just I'm just scalping some money here. I mean, I scalped some McDonald's, scalped some Facebook, and you know, some of them some of them were small wins, some of them were bigger wins, and everything in between. If that's if that's if that's your training style, that's 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 for you. This strategy may not be for everybody, but that's how you bypass the pattern day trader rule. You can do it. You just have to be very disciplined. You also have to have a cash account with a broker like Tastyworks. Like I said, if you want to sign up for Tastyworks, links are below in the description. If this video helped you at all, hit the like button. And as always, stay safe, stay green. It's us first heard.